The ME51N transaction is used to create a purchase requisition. This procedure is used to manually enter a purchase requisition in GFIBS for the purpose of funds check and commitment of funds. Now we will demonstrate how to create a purchase requisition in GFIBS. Type the transaction code ME51N in the command field and press enter. Click on the document type drop down menu and select SPS, PR. Note, it is very important to select the proper PR document. Each type of requisition has specific requirements to complete the document. For example, an SPS purchase requisition requires routing through the contracting office and interface with the DOD standard procurement system. Additional note, the icons to the left represent three distinct areas of a purchase requisition. These areas are, the header, item category and item detail sections. Expand the header area, if applicable. Enter a short description of what is being procured in the header note field. In this instance, it is printers. Note, this field is a free text field and you may input any information your unit deems necessary or important. For example, you may enter a name, telephone number or location in this field. Expand the item overview section if it is not already. Enter K in the account assignment field. Note, the account assignment designates the cost object. There are many different cost objects but some of the most common ones are, K equals cost center, F equals internal order, P equals WBS element, and U equals unfunded. Enter printers in the short text field. Enter 30 in the quantity field. Note, for all services, the quantity is always 1. For example, janitorial services, lawn services, portable toilet cleaning services, and plumbing or electrical repair services will always be 1. A general rule of thumb is if you can count it. The unit of measure will be EA, or each for goods, if not, it's AU, or activity unit for services. Enter EA in the unit of measure field. Note, select the unit of measure most appropriate for the items being procured. Some common units of measurement are EA for each and AU for activity unit. Enter 1750.00 as the amount in the VAL price field. Enter January 10, 2018 as the delivery date in the text field. Note, delivery date will default to 10 working days from the date of entry if no date is selected. Enter 2430 in the material group field. Enter FSHA in the planned field. Note, in GFIBS. A plant represents an installation. For example, JCK1 represents Fort Jackson and FSHA represents Fort Stewart. Enter FMS in the purchasing group field. Note, purchasing group represents the last three alphanumeric combination of the DODAC for the contracting office. Enter Don Hilbert in the requisitioner field. Enter Army in the Purchasing Organization field. Note, the Purchasing Organization is always Army. Press the Enter key to validate the entries. Expand the Item Details section if not already. Click on the drop-down button located on the right side of the screen. Select the Account Assignment tab. In the Cost Center field enter 76V, V0065. In the fund field enter 202-010-D17.
in the functional area field enter 131096 QLOG. Press the Enter key. Click on the drop-down button located on the right side of the screen and select the Customer Data tab. In the PR Gen Sub tab, enter the full name and telephone number of the point of contact. In this example, type in Thomas Young and enter 912-435-7288. Click on the Workflow tab and enter W87JNL in the Request or Approval DODAC text field. Note, the DODAC information determines the routing approval process. Click on the Contracts tab and enter 424-110 in the NAICS field. Note. The NAICS code is the North American Industry Classification System, which groups business establishments for the purpose of collecting, analyzing, and publishing statistical data related to the U.S. economy. Additionally, the NAICS industry codes define establishments based on the activities in which they are primarily engaged. For example, 443-120 equals computers or computer-related services. Next. Enter 3610 in the PSC text field. Note, the Product and Service Codes, PSC, manual provides codes to describe products, services, and research and development, R&D, purchased by the federal government. The PSC is a four-digit classification code. Press the Enter key to validate the information. In the Item Overview section, Highlight line item 1 by clicking the gray box to the very left of the line. Click the copy icon. Update the short text to the description of line 2. In this instance, enter printer cartridges. Change the quantity text field to 25. Change the unit of measure text field to EA, if applicable. Change the valuation price text field to 375.00. Press the Enter key to validate the information. Click on the drop-down arrow and select line item 2 in which you have copied. On the Customer Data tab, Contracts sub-tab, update the data in the NICS and PSC. Text fields, if applicable, enter 424110 and 3610. Click the check button on the menu bar for a systematic check of the purchase requisition. Notice the informational message is displayed in the status bar, which is in the lower left hand corner of screen. Click the save button on the menu bar. Note. The informational message in the bottom left of the screen stating purchase requisition number 001-021-2018 created. Record your document number. You have successfully completed this transaction.